blockchain technology is surely the future of all business and finance transactions. Central to it is ultimate transparency. It's unchangeable, it's observable, it's immutable. If it happens on the blockchain, then it happened and you cannot argue against it. So why in the crypto DeFi space do we spend probably all of our investing lives running around like headless chickens, worrying that the next scam or rug pull is literally just around the corner and we are going to lose everything. Well, in this little video, I'm going to lift the hood a little bit on that by talking about a project that is completely breaking that mold. So without further ado, let's go. Welcome, my dear friends, as always, come in, take a seat around my tea table. Today's little tipple. Well, I woke up to a very kind of misty autumnal morning here in Blighty and I just felt I needed something smoky. So it's Lapsang Souchong. Oh, it's so gorgeous. If you haven't tried it, then you must. Um, so join me for a cup of Lapsang Souchong. Of course, as always, I will say at this point, I am not a financial advisor. We are just here talking about DeFi, drinking a cup of tea. So please do your own research. Just a little shout out, as always, I am still on my quest to reach 1,000 subscribers. I'm on 837 and crawling and creeping ever nearer every day. So if you do enjoy my content, then please consider subscribing down below. Um, and I appreciate all the support that you can give me. Thank you. So central to the blockchain and blockchain technology is, of course, transparency. However, if you're in a DeFi project or if you're into DeFi, that probably feels sometimes like the furthest from the truth that it could be. And I was reading this morning, I was doing a bit of research ready for this video. I was reading somebody described DeFi as the misty mountain with, you know, the peak is, is um, showing through the mist, but everything else is shrouded. And that I think is a really good description to how it feels to be an investor in DeFi. And did you know that over $10 billion were lost to scams and rug pulls just last year in this space? What is an investor supposed to do? How do we navigate this really tricky area? Well, I'm in a few projects. I'm in five projects altogether. And when I first got into investing in, in this area, this space, I kind of said to myself, I'm not going to get involved in projects where I don't know who the team is. And actually with four of those projects, I stood by that mantra. With one of them, I didn't. And I, I'm not going to say the names of the projects because actually this video isn't about particular projects. Um, I'm still in the project and actually it's washed this face. I've taken out my investment. Um, and so, you know, it's paying the bills, blah, blah, blah. But the team is not doxxed and actually the CEO is this mysterious figure um, and I think he almost wears that as a badge of honour. We don't know who he is. We'll never know who he is. Do I as an investor feel really invested in that project? Well, financially, yes, I put my money in, I've got it back out. Do I feel invested in any other way? No. It doesn't interest me. I'm not making videos about that project. And the other projects that I'm in, the, the four of those, three of them all fully doxxed. But I'll be honest, communication with the teams is pretty terrible. Again, I'm not feeling really invested in those teams and those projects. My money is, but I'm not. But today I do want to talk about, of course, you knew it was coming, Seifu Seifu X, which hands down is leading the pack and breaking the mold when it comes to transparency. So here are four ways that Seifu and Brian Legend as the CEO is leading the way. 
And if you're already a Safer Investor, you'll know most of this, but hopefully this will just help you to remember why you're in this project. And if you're not into Safer or Safer Works, if this is the first time you've heard about it, then just give me a few minutes of your time. And I think you'd be pretty amazed by what you hear. So the first element I want to talk about really is Brian Legend himself, the CEO. And actually, this is the reason why I even got into Safer in the first place, because I saw Brian in action through his YouTube videos. And I was impressed because I hadn't seen anything done like this previously. He actually held up his license to prove who he was. Now, how refreshing is that when, you know, most CEOs of DeFi projects, they just kind of go around as hooded figures. Um, but really, you know, the AMAs is, is just part of Brian's transparency. So if you go onto his YouTube channel, you will find, I think it's a total of 31 AMAs that he has conducted on YouTube. But of course, then if you jump into Discord, you've got, I think, another eight or so AMAs that have happened in Discord. And actually, that's not the sum total because some, some actually in, in the initial stages weren't recorded. But there are eight that you can access there and listen back to. But also, of course, Brian and the team are constantly in and out of Discord, interacting with the community, answering questions, making announcements, pinning messages, um, and just being there as the presence that we need as a community. So that's the first thing. On to the second area. Now, it would be disingenuous of me to kind of say that other projects didn't dox their team. Of course they do, but quite often you just get to know maybe the CEO and, you know, his or her top one or two members of staff. But if you jump on the SafeWorks website, you will find the full 19 members of the development team there. So you'll see Brian, Jason, Adrian, Damien. Well, you'll, you'll see them all. Take a look. So we know exactly who is behind this project. And I have been fortunate enough to meet eight of these people. I'll come to that in a second. So I can verify they're very real and great people. So on to the third point, um, and actually the reason why I've been able to meet uh, many of the team is if you've seen my recent videos, you'll know that I was recently in Dubai with the team um, to attend the Crypto Expo. And all of that was filmed for a documentary that was published just um, a few days ago and is available for you to watch. It's 54 minutes long. And if you want to know more about the coming SafeWork blockchain, the team, including Brian and or the community, then that would be a great place to start. And again, I was there and it's authentic. What I see in that, in that documentary is exactly how it felt to be out there in Dubai with the team. So it's not doctored and it's not a cosmetic kind of view. You're seeing these people for who they are. And again, a great bunch of people to spend time with. In addition, there's also a previous video that's about 34 minutes long of when the team went to London for the Seifu Racing event. Um, so that's also available. Again, just another deep dive into Ryan and the team, just for you to really get a rounded picture. And the final point is actually the community itself and the resulting YouTube social media presence that this project has. Now, of course, what I need to make clear is that I, as a YouTuber, have not been paid to put these videos out. Neither of any of my YouTubing colleagues. We do this absolutely of our own volition as passionate members of the Safe Food community. And I guess really, what that represents, certainly for me, is, you know, if, if I'm ever doing any research on a company um, or if I'm buying something online, the first thing I do is look at the reviews. And really in the YouTube community of Seifu, you have the equivalent of those reviews. We're not paid to do this. And in fact, um, and some of us are monetized, I'm not yet. Um, and I would say I invest probably at least 20 hours of my week at least, that's very conservative 20 hours, 
20 hours of my week making these videos, interacting in Discord in the community, um, interacting with other investors of Seifu. Um, why do I do that if I'm not paid? I do that. Yes, because absolutely I believe in this project. But secondly, I'm desperate, desperate to shout about this project because I believe in it, because I believe that my financial freedom lies at least partially in this project. I want other people to experience that. So I'm doing this to shout out the message to you and others that may not have heard about Seifu. But again, going back to the point, if you search Seifu or Seifu X on YouTube, just see how many videos come up. There are 20 something YouTubers that are shouting about this project from the top of their lungs because they believe in it. So it's probably worth taking a look. And of course, you know, you don't know me from Adam. Who am I to speak about this? I'm merely an investor that has taken to YouTube. But if you do want to look a little bit more into who I am and whether you can trust me and what I'm saying, well, you could probably do worse than looking at my LinkedIn um, profile. I'll link it down below. It was set up many years ago before I even thought about crypto. Um, you know, it details my professional life. I've spent my life um, as um, in the arts, but also as academic registrar at various institutions in the UK. So have a look. Why should you trust me? Well, I don't know, but at least I'm being as open as I can with you in terms of who I am and why I'm doing this. So those are really the four aspects of transparency within Seifu and Seifu X that I wanted to mention. And I think you would have to go a long way before you would find another project in this DeFi space that can compare on more than two of those points. So other DeFi projects, you need to look at Seifu and Seifu X and you need to follow the lead. So that's kind of all I wanted to say today. I wish you a very lovely weekend. I want to say thank you as always for spending the time with me to watch my video. And I hope to see you in my next one. But in the meantime, as always, stay safe, Foo, and cheers. Living life every day, late at night, not okay. All I want and I pray. All I need are some better days.